Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to adjust your Lytra Glow settings. So the Lytra Glow is basically what's allowing the light to shine on my face right now. That's what device we're working with today. You're going to need the Logitune software, which is right here. The first link in the description will take you to this page. If you have a Windows machine, uh, download here. If you have a Mac, download here. Let's go ahead and pull up the Lytra Glow software, or sorry, the Logitune software, which is basically Logitech's version of um, software to um, basically change settings of your devices. So this is what the the uh, software looks like. Yeah, I currently have the Brio and my Lytra Glow device. Um, this is the home page where you can uh, sign in and attach an agenda, but we're not focused on that right now. Uh, we're focused on the Lytra Glow. So let's go ahead and click on this. And um, basically, you can control the power here. You can control the smart activation. I don't recommend this. Uh, that is because smart activation doesn't do what I want it to do. I want the light to be uh, stable and be the same for me. So I don't want that enabled. Uh, I, you can name it whatever you want. There are some presets here. So if you click on the, the manual adjustment, as you saw, I clicked like in this area right here, you can actually adjust this. And I want you guys to focus on my face when I'm adjusting these because I'm going to show you the difference in light posture here. So I do a manual adjustment, but if I did a bright, warm candlelight, look at my face, boom. Look how much brighter and clearer that is. That actually looks better than what I was using. Um, but if I go back to my manual adjustment, uh, that's obviously different than what I had even before that one. So if I keep changing this, as you can see, it definitely affects the light of my face, which is a big deal. So um, this is actually the best lighting, and uh, I would keep it like this if it wasn't burning my eyeballs. My eyeballs feel like they're burning, so I'm going to manually adjust this because I do like the brightness of this one, but it's a little, it's a little too bright. So I'm going to have to cut it back to the cozy candlelight. However, what you can do is when you click into, uh, when I click the cozy candlelight right here, I click the X, and then you see the temperature. So then I can have it on cozy candlelight for the brightness level, but then I can also adjust the temperature. So basically, now it turns into a manual adjustment. So th think of these as like baselines. So I'm going to use the cozy candlelight and then just turn up the temperature. So th now the brightness is not nearly as much as what the, uh, the bright warm candlelight was, but the temperature is high enough to where I want it to be. So mess around with this, guys. It's really cool because say I want it to be a mild afternoon. Okay, well, there's that. But then say I want the temperature to be higher. You can do that as well. Uh, play around with this. This is how you're really going to get what you want. Uh, so I'm going to keep it right there. And uh, with that being said, there are some also some settings here. But this is for the Brio because as you can see, this settings box is for the camera uh, for my OBS recording. So basically all these right here are, are this. And if you actually scroll down, uh, the brightness is kind of hidden. So this is where I'm, I'm talking about here. So bright, warm candlelight. If we select that, uh, and we scroll down, the brightness is all the way up and the temperature is all the way up. That is literally the highest setting it goes. I do look pretty darn good right now, but the brightness has got to come down. So if we turn down the brightness to say 200, I still look pretty good, um, but it's still burning my eyeballs. So I don't want to burn my eyeballs. Let's go ahead and take it down to 150. This is the manual adjustment I'm talking about. Now let's go ahead and take a look at cozy candlelight and let's see what brightness this was at. That's only at 84, which is interesting. Um, so I can actually, you know, I can, I'm actually learning something right here. Uh, I can actually change this to, uh, I want cozy candlelight. However, I want the temperature to be up more. And I also want the brightness to be up more as well. Um, because I, I don't want it to be too, too bright to where it hurts my eyes. But I do want the warmth to be a little more. So as you can see, I'm adjusting it as I go whatever looks good, depending on the lighting of the room as well. Um, you know, my window right here, it's dark outside. So obviously, obviously the lighting is going to be different depending on uh, the time of day for me. Uh, I don't have a too advanced setup here, so I, I got to work with what I can. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and keep that there. And um, yeah, so that's kind of how you adjust your settings. Like I said, first link in the description to get the Logitune software. Very useful, very friendly. As you can see, I mean, by the, the looks of the Logitune software, it, there's only like, you know, 
five different settings. You know, it's, it's a light at the end of the day. You have brightness, temperature, and then you have some presets, the device name, and smart activation. You can mess around with this if you'd like, but it gives you a little description here as well. Automatically turn on when the camera is active and within the designated schedule and turn off when the camera is not in use. So if you want to get really fancy, you can mess around with that. But obviously, if I turn it off, it turns it off. And if I turn it on, it turns it on. Who would have guessed that? But that's literally all for this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to check out the first link to get this software. And uh, I'm not an affiliate or anything with this. This is just how you do this. So hopefully you found this useful. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care and peace.